the Veer here, CO of Outer Heaven, showing you how to safely operate, maintain, and use a gas blowback airsoft pistol. The information we will discuss is primarily for beginners for their first pistol. Gas blowback pistols are used as a secondary to your main gun and need to work every time you reach for it. Whenever you purchase a blowback, be sure you already assemble the cleaning kit because it will be critical to keeping your new gun in working order. Don't forget eye protection when shooting or pulling apart a gun. Also, consider a good case for your pistol, as you will want this for longevity and proper care. We will break this up into six parts. Safety, types of magazines, loading magazines, gassing magazines, reloading and firing, and general cleaning. Whenever dealing with a firearm, there are a few simple safety rules. Always treat the gun like it's loaded. Whenever handling a gun, have your eye protection on. And whenever handing a gun to someone, open the action and lock it before handing it over. First thing you will need to do before anything else is put your eye protection on. Next, let's look at the blueprints of a pistol. Understanding a gun is a good way to keep yourself safe. Most pistols can be broken down into the slide, the frame or chassis, slide release, and the magazine. In the slide you will find the barrel, the sights, spring guide, recoil spring, and the hop up. In the frame you will find the grip, the hammer, trigger guard, trigger, and magazine release. There are several types of pistols, but the two most common are semi-automatic and double action. Double action means you can pull the hammer back to fire or simply pull the trigger. This mostly deals with revolvers. Semi-automatic means every time you pull the trigger, the action cycles, firing a round and loading a new round into the chamber, or in this case, the hop-up unit. The gun will not fire again until you release the trigger and pull the trigger again. Find the safety of your particular gun. Most are near the hammer of the gun, but some are on the slide itself. A built-in safety feature to disengage the gun is to place your thumb on the hammer and press down. As you do this, slowly pull the trigger and release the hammer as you release the trigger. If you wish to fire again, you will need to pull out the magazine, pull the slide back and lock it, reload your magazine, and release the slide. Blowback magazines have three main parts you should be aware of. The O-ring, where you fill the magazine. The valve, where the gas is released into the gun to fire and the magazine follower where BBs are held until fired. Magazines can either be single stacked or double stacked. Single stacked means one BB is right on top of the other. Double stacked means the BBs are spaced wider allowing for more ammunition to be held. When loading magazines use a speed loader when possible the oils on your hands will actually have an effect on the accuracy and spread of your shots. If you are using a pistol in CQB, where you may not have to fire much farther than 25 feet, this may not be an issue. But if you're outdoors and you're going to be shooting farther than that, you will see the effects. Never fill magazines to the max. Leave one or two BBs worth of space to avoid jams or other misfire problems. When loading double stacked magazines, make sure the BBs fit one on top of the other with no gaps. Use a small tool to correct any gaps that come along. Failure to do this will cause jams, double feeding, and other various problems. When filling a magazine, first make sure your adapter and magazine are properly lubricated. You can either use green gas or propane but green gas is just a mixture of propane with silicon oil. 
If you use propane, you want to use a dropper of lubrication in the compartment between the can and the adapter. Afterward, screw on the adapter until it's tight. Next, the magazine. Use the dropper on the valve. Press the valve in and out a few times to get the lubrication going on it nicely. Then use the dropper on the o-ring just before you fill it. You do this so the rubber doesn't crack and dry out. Then hold the magazine so the valve is pointed down. Then line up your propellant so that it is perfectly straight. Try not to move it around on a weird angle where your partner may not approve of it. Press the valve firmly for 3 to 5 seconds. Larger magazines can hold more propellant, so adjust according for size. Make sure to pull out quickly so you lock it in place. Afterwards, you should always listen for any leaking gas. If you do hear this, your o-ring didn't seat well, so refill it and pull it away quickly to lock it in place. If you have tried this and it's still leaking, try re-lubricating. But it could also be a bad o-ring, in which case you will need a new one. If you are filling several magazines, you should add more silicon oil to the adapter for every 5 to 10 mags. When you are done using your gun, first thing you need to do is decide if you're going to leave the gas in the magazine or you're going to empty it. You can fire your gun until the gas runs out, but never press the valve to release the gas. Doing this will weaken the valve and eventually break it. So again, either leave the gas in the magazines, or fire it until it's empty, but never dump the gas. Never leave BBs in the magazine because it weakens the spring over time. When loading a fresh magazine, pull the slide back and open the action. Make sure the slide locks in place. Load a magazine into the gun until it locks, but do not slam it into the gun. At this point, there are two ways to disengage the slide lock. You can either hit the slide release, or you can pull the entire slide back and let it go. You decide which you prefer, but neither is incorrect. Most pistols have a dot or iron sights Make sure these line up when aiming on a target. When cleaning a gun, start by pulling out the magazine and locking the slide back. Find on your gun where the slide can be disassembled. Some guns have a piece that pulls out, others have a lever. Make sure to clean out any place where moving parts touch, using a mixture of cotton swabs and cotton strips to do this. Lubricate where the slide meets the chassis using either a spray or a dropper. Also, any parts moving against each other to reduce friction. When cleaning a magazine, take a cotton swab and clean out the feeding tube. Depress the spring and try not to let it slip. If it does, it will break the magazine follower. Lightly lubricate the feeding tube and then lubricate the valve and the o-ring. At this point, test out the magazine by filling it and firing it until it's empty. Make sure when you are completely done with this process, you put the gun in a case. A pistol should always fire. It is your last line of defense or offense given the situation. The key to making this work is keeping the gun and the magazine properly lubricated. A holster for your pistol will make a world of a difference. The more care you give the gun, the more you will get back out of it, and it will last much longer. Always outgunned, never outclassed. We're done here.